Okay, today we are going to try and get Grand Theft Auto onto our Mac today uh, through Epic Games. So maybe you got that free GTA 5 in Epic Games giveaway like I did, and you want to play it on your Mac OS. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to install Crossover by Codeweavers. This lets us play Windows apps on our Mac operating system. And I prefer this over Parallels because Parallels runs the whole Windows operating system on your Mac. So uh, go ahead and I'll provide the link below in the description, but uh, you can either buy it, which if you really want to, if you have that money, go ahead or try it out first. I prefer to make sure it runs on your Mac um, and then you can always buy it in the future. And I would also check out what other games and softwares work with uh, Crossover because there are a lot and there's obviously sometimes a fee to run uh, or to get access to running these uh, Windows programs on your Mac. So go ahead and click free trial, uh, sign up for that, and mine actually just got done downloading. So while you do that, go ahead and click downloads. I have a crossover right here. Boom, boom, boom. Go ahead and click that. Click open. Uh, move to applications folder. Great. And I'm just going to click try now instead of buying it. If you want to, go for it. But Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to download the Heroic Games Launcher. Um, so this is on GitHub. I provided the link below. Um, and go ahead and uh, go to that link and scroll down a little bit and go to releases on the right side. And you're gonna just going to click the latest release. It might be a little different than the one here. Um, and you're going to see a lot of different download files. So please pay attention here. So um, you may need to check by clicking the Apple and about this Mac because you need to know what year your Mac is. Um, and it shouldn't make too big of a difference, but you're either going to download this first one here, Heroic 2.8 or whatever number you have right now, Mac OS ARM64. ARM64 is just your CPU. Um, if you have a Mac that is... 2020 and beyond so if you're gaming on a 2022 Mac uh, you should download this file right here mine is a little older so what I'm gonna download is the x64 my CPU is before 2020 um, so I'm gonna download this one anyone with a Mac before 2020 please download the x64.dmg alright so go ahead and open this up all right, move Heroic Games into your Applications folder. Okay, so go ahead and go to your Applications folder and click on Heroic. Let's see if that opens. Boom, boom, boom. Heroic is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, open. All right, you'll get this message, and then we need to log in. So go ahead and go to Login, and we're going to do Epic Games Login well for me and I'm gonna sign in with Google if you have a different way of signing in go ahead but we need to get a certain uh, verification here okay so Epic Games we're now logged in go to your library and go down to GTA 5 and click download that button right there all right, make sure you have enough space. If you don't, you're gonna to wanna to clear some space on your computer. There are ways to do it with an external hard drive. Um, if you'd like to do that, it's a little more difficult though. So I'm gonna go ahead, I don't have much space to play with, but I'll figure it out later. And I'm gonna go ahead and install, and uh, I'm using Wine Crossover 22 here. Okay, so my GTA finally got done installing. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back into Crossover and we're gonna click Bottle at the top and click New Bottle. All right, and we're gonna title this Heroic. All right, now make sure, and very important, new bottle type is not Windows 10 64-bit. Please make it Windows 7 64-bit. I've made that mistake in the past. Do not do it. All right, creating bottle. Okay, so now we have this empty Heroic bottle. Go ahead and click Install Application into Bottle. I already have Rockstar typed in, so go ahead and type that in and click Rockstar Games Launcher. And we are going to just click install and agree to all the terms that come along with it. All 
Okay, before we start playing, we have to do some things to the settings. So go ahead and go to your settings and go to game defaults. Uh, make sure that you have it on the crossover uh, update that you set. So I have 22.11. Um, it had wine crossover 22.11 for me, which was incorrect and wouldn't let me set this second tab to heroic, which is the folder we're gonna find Rockstar Games Launcher in. So make sure that's set correctly, and then you can go to your library. Now before we get the game going, one trick that I have that helps me run it is I start Rockstar through crossover first, and I sign in through my account. I've had better luck starting up the game like that. So do that first. Okay, so I have my Rockstar signed into. I recommend that you sign in and that you have it save your credentials and that it's auto sign in every time. So I'm just gonna go down here with that and then I'm gonna go back to my Heroic Games Launcher and let's start up GTA 5. All right guys, I hope you have fun playing Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, please leave comments if you guys need anything. There's also a lot of other videos out there about how to optimize settings. I'll make one maybe if you guys want one. But uh, for now, enjoy. <laughs> 